Okay, so what we have here is question two on complex numbers. On the Argan diagram, plot z, i z, i squared z, at i cube z. So, what we got to remember is z is two across one up. So two across one up, that gives us z. Now we have i z. So i z equals i multiplied by two plus i, which is going to be two i uh, plus i squared which is going to be minus 1 plus 2i. So minus 1 plus 2i is here. So we can call that, uh, that's iz. Now we have to do i squared z. So i squared this time is that. And as we all know, i squared is minus 1. So equals minus 1 times 2 plus i, which is going to get me minus 2 minus, minus i. Okay, minus 2 minus i, which is located here, and that can be i cubed z, and then finally, oh sorry, i squared z, next one's i cubed z, now replace this with i cubed, we all know that i cubed is minus i, so we have this time is minus i, so minus i times uh, 2 plus i, and what we get is minus 2i, minus i squared and minus minus one so it's one minus two i one across two down okay now just having a quick examination of this and you know i'll notice that it's actually on a circle okay and when you do this what you're noticing is that uh, every time if you join each one to each other, any time you multiply by i, see i1, i squared, i cubed, it undergoes a 90 degrees clockwise rotation every time. Okay? So that's something to remember here. Okay? So, describe the position of i bar z. So I'm going to do i bar z now. i bar z is z uh, 2 plus i again. Now i4 is i2 by i2, which is minus 1 by minus 1, which equals uh, 1. So it's 1 times 2 plus i, which is 2 plus i. Now remember, i4 z will be in the same position as i4 z is the same thing as z. So it basically undergoes a full 360 rotation and starts back at the original point. Okay? Describe a transformation which is not a rotation that maps i z onto i i cube at uh, i cube z. So what I want you to realize is this one here, i z, and this one here, which is oh sorry, i z, and that's i squared z, and this one here is i cube z. So I want you to Describe a transformation that maps this one onto this one here. Okay, so what we'll do here, we'll just make it a bit less cluttered. Okay, so what I really want you to do here is describe what matches the two green dots onto each other. Well, you can say it's central symmetry in the in the middle in the origin. Because if you go down two across one, down two across one, it's what's called central symmetry, okay? So, it's a uh, central symmetry. Okay, the next one. Name, uh, I'm just going to keep answering the said questions for a minute. Explain what iz and i5z can be represented on the same point in the Argon diagram. Well, uh, this is question five now. Well, they can be represented on the same point in the Argon diagram for the following reason. If you look at it, the first way of looking at it is that iz equals i5z, i5 equals i squared i squared by i, which is minus 1 by minus 1 by i, and therefore it's equal to i. So iz therefore equals iz, so you can say they're the same point. Another way of looking at it is that I, I to the power 1 and I to the power 5 has I to the power 4 in the difference. Each I value represents 90 degrees. So I to the power 4 equals a 360 degrees rotation, which means that it goes starts here and it goes 
across 90, across another 90, across another 90, and then by the fourth 90, you're back where you started from. Okay? So that's another reason. Now, uh, next question we're going to try next is uh, part four. Name the image of you under central symmetry in IZ. IZ is this one here dotted in black. And what we'll do next is we'll find where u is. u is minus 4, 3. Minus 4, up, 3 across. Now central symmetry means that I go across 1, down 3 to get to iz. Then I go down 1, across 3 again. And what I'm going to get is uh, 2 plus i. And 2 plus i is z. Okay? So that's that one there done. Now, W equals 2i times u. Give a geometrical interpretation of how to find the position of, of W on an argon diagram. Well, W equals 2i u. U is minus 4 plus 3i. This is u right here. Now, multiplying by i what multiplying by i means is that you're going to rotate this. If I was to draw a line from here to here, you're going to when you multiply by i, you're going to rotate it down 90 degrees. Okay, so multiply that by i, and we get 4 plus 3i. And we're going to get 4i plus 3i squared, which is going to be minus 3 plus 4i, and that would leave us minus 3 minus 3. So one second guys, 4i, so, oh, it's minus 4, excuse me, so that, that makes sense now. So it's minus 4i, which is down here, and minus 3, which is here. So you can see that it's undergone its, uh, its basic 90 degree rotation. However, when you multiply it by 2, what you're doing is you're doubling the length of the line. So the length of the line will be all the way down here. And when you double the answer, you're going to get minus 6 plus 8i. So in effect, multiplying by uh, i causes a 90 degrees rotation. And multiplying by the 2 causes twice the length. Okay. So that's uh, that one there. And then finally, using the diagram, explain why u is bigger than z. Okay, well, if we look at u and z, just look at u and z only. We can see that u has a much longer line, u has a much larger distance than z from the origin. This is why u, the modulus of u, is bigger than the modulus of z. Okay, question four. If w equals 3 minus 2i, on the same diagram plot w, minus i w, minus i squared w, minus i cubed w, and minus i far w. Okay, so w is 3 minus 2i, which is here. And then I do, minus i w is going to be my, minus i times 3 minus 2i, which is going to be minus 3i, 2i squared, which is going to be minus 2 minus 3i. So minus 2 minus 3i is located here. So what we can see is that uh, multiplying by minus i caused a 90 degrees clockwise rotation. So multiplying by minus i moved it this direction. Okay. Then the next one is i minus i squared w. Once again, 3 minus 2i. Minus i squared is minus, minus 1. times w now sorry so it's minus i squared so we're going to multiply in and we're going to get minus 3 i squared plus 2 i cubed and we get minus 3 times minus 1 which is a 3 then we're going to get uh, i squared, which is minus 2. So what it does is, I think it's going to bring it uh, back to its original position. Mm. 
So we're going to get a three. We're going to get three minus two y. So it's actually going to be in the same position as w. So this is minus i squared w is in the same position. Now we're going to try minus uh, i cubed w. So minus uh, i cubed w is going to be uh, minus i cubed times three minus two i. Remember, minus i cubed is the same thing as minus one times i squared times i, which is minus one by minus one by i, which is simply i. So it's the same thing as i. And what we find is that it brings it back to 3i minus 2i squared, which is going to be 2 minus 3i, which is here. So we find out that uh, minus iw and minus i cubed w are at the same spot. And then finally minus i4 w is going to be uh, i4 is the same as 1. Because i4 is i squared by i squared, which is minus 1 by minus 1, which is plus 1. So it's going to be minus 1 times w, which is 2 minus 3i. What we're going to get is minus 2 plus 3i. Minus 2 plus 3i is up here.